Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jess with That Pixie Planner Life and today I have a plan with me for the month of November 2022. So if you want to see how we're planning for this month, stick around. That's coming up right now. All right, you guys. So quick disclaimer before we get started. I am getting over a pretty bad cold. So my throat is a little bit off today. So if I sound a little bit funny or if I'm talking a little bit quieter, that is why just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up with that. So that way you knew, um, just because if I don't sound as chipper, that doesn't mean I'm not happy or excited. I'm just trying to give my voice a little bit of a break, but I also am really behind on content and my Disney trip is 10 days away now and I need to get this stuff done for you. So yeah. So as you can see, I already have some stuff in front of me. I kind of know what I want to do for this month. I know what you're probably thinking. Is that more Disney seasonal? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. I know I've been doing a lot of Disney lately and a lot of Disney seasonal lately. However, with the trip only being 10 days away, it's just been on my brain a lot. And November is the month of fall and Thanksgiving. And because we leave for our trip on November 9th, I just thought that the fall Disney seasonal stickers were the perfect stickers for this month. I just had to. So I'm sorry if you guys are getting sick of seeing this. Hopefully not because you guys know that I love Disney and I love planning with my Disney stickers from the Happy Planner. So this makes it a little bit easy just because there isn't a whole lot to pick from. So hopefully this spread won't be too crazy this time. I've been going a little bit ham in my spreads lately. So it'll be nice to keep it a little bit more simple. I am going to have to pull in some boxes. We have uh, quite a bit of things happening this month. So it is going to be kind of busy. However, I think I'm just going to do black boxes. I'm not going to go crazy because the color is going to be everywhere else. So I have these two like sections of the sticker books. This one is the regular value. And then this one is the big large one with the big stickers in it. So I'm going to be using those two sticker books. And then I've also pulled some really fun washi. This is just some simple fall washi that I found at Joann's a while back. It's pretty old. I would say at least a year, if not two. I've had that for quite some time, but it goes really well with the stickers in the sticker book. And then I also just grabbed this black and white and gold striped skinnier washi. I do want to pull in more black for this month. And I am going to be using gold foil. So I thought this was like a really good option and I thought like together it just was like a unique pairing and I think once it all comes together it might look really cute so we're gonna give that a go so I've been really bad at filling out my end of the month uh, reflection pages I didn't do it last month and I haven't done it for this month well for October yet either so I don't have anything to like put a mind map in for over here however I don't think I want to put anything in here for this month so I'm probably just gonna use it creatively if I do put a box down here it might be just for like some kind of goal for the month or a you know or an important reminder I might even just like put a box in and say Disney girls trip you know just to like really make it stand out even though I'm going to be putting that over here too so usually when I go on vacation I do label my vacation in washi tape so I think I am going to do that again here it might be a little bit difficult to do just because I also have things going on, but you know, I could just use the smaller one. We'll see, but I do want to cover this up with washi. And I think for this one, I'm going to bring the black up because I, um, I don't need the boxes above there. Those are for next month. I think for here, I'm going to do what I did last time. And because I just really liked the way it looked. Plus it fits in the box really well. So we'll put this in up top over here. This might look a little bit off, like uneven. And I don't know if it's going to bug me or not because you guys know how I like everything to like look even and balanced. But we're going to try it because I just want to try it. Hopefully this looks the way that I want it to. Yeah, that's okay. It doesn't look too bad. So maybe what we'll do is we will use the fall washi. I could see if it'll fit up top and then I won't have to use it as much, but these, well, this washing doesn't always fit up here. 
And if it does, it always feels like it gets cut off. It's like kind of coming off. I don't know, I like it up there though. I did do it last month and last month's looked really cute. So we're just gonna go for it. And then if I have to cut off any extra with my scissors, I will. And I'm honestly pulling this a little too tight. It's gonna end up bunching. I'm gonna turn this really quick, you guys, and speed you up while I finish doing all of my washi bits. And then I'll be back. Okay, I ended up zooming you guys in just a little bit because I felt like you were a little bit far away, but I think that's good for now. I don't want to go too crazy with the washi tape. So I think that's good for now. I didn't put it in the middle, but I did put it over here. So I feel like it kind of offset it really nicely. I know that I want to use this sticker, but this one right here. But the problem is, is I really want to use like a big clear sticker too. And that's generally where I would put these. And I'm not really sure how I want to combine the two in that box. I could do like a little mini collage, which I'm sort of leaning towards. I really like this one too. Start each day with a grateful heart. And I feel like it would fit like amazingly right there. But then it doesn't leave any space for anything else. So I'm just trying to figure out how I want to tackle this. I'm really loving this Choose Adventure Always. And I think I want to put it down here. So I'm going to white out this. I know it's a holiday. Why am I wearing out a holiday? But we're gonna be away anyway, so. And I think I'm just gonna stick this here because I think this is like really cute for right here. I feel like I probably should be using my tweezers, but. Choose adventure always, that's cute. And then I probably should put something over here. Share the magic, time to party, but that one's huge. I do have this happily grateful, but it's, her hat is pink and it's driving me crazy. Now is in one of those moments where I wish I had those Arteza paint pens because I could just color right over that, like a different color. <laughs> All right, I decided to color it. We'll see if it dries. <laughs> but what I really want to do is I want to take this one and put this on Thanksgiving. I feel like that's a really good spot for that box. And then I'm going to do this. I hope, I hope this goes the way that I want it to. I don't know if it's going to, but since we don't need any of these boxes, I'm just gonna put this right here, like it's resting on that. I feel like that's cute. It might be a little too much, but, but I'm okay with that. I kind of really like that. Okay, this marker is not drying the way that I had hoped. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take this Mickey. I really wanted to try and keep Minnie, but I don't think it's happening, Minnie. Oh no, are you gonna be able to see it still? That's not gonna work because you can see it still. All right, I guess we're just living with the pink. Or I could put one of these here, which might which might work. We can try that. Okay. So this is going to go right here. I know it's kind of covering up the numbers, but I'm okay with that. Maybe we can use... I have a little bit of that blue in here. I could use this Stay Kind one, which might bring a little bit of that color in. Kind of fits, but then it cuts, it covers that up. I could... Hold on. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's cut the little top of her flower off. We don't need that. And then that could be really cute. Just like that. That's cute. That brings a little bit of that blue in. So I am good with that. And then maybe what we can do is take this green and put this. Should we put it over here? Or like with this quote? Kind of like, yeah. I like that. All right, that's good. That is good. All right, I am going to try something new, you guys. I am gonna put that sticker there and I'm just gonna wipe this out. And then I'm gonna take this big box. I'm gonna put it down right here. 
And then I'm gonna take this long Mickey sticker and we're gonna cut this. Hopefully this is the right line that I needed to cut. Might still be a little long. So what we're gonna have to do is cut here. And I know a lot of you probably like never even considered thinking about doing with these boxes. But what happens is, is if I really want a specific color that badly, I will cut it a long one. Like I will cut a long one to down to the size that I need. And then I will use it. Oh, it's still long. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to cut the top part off. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see it, like where I put it together, but I made it a small box and I wanted to keep Mickey there. And I'm gonna write like Disney vacation here. And then over here, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write like a couple of key points for the month. Then I have like these little pieces. So like, look at this. I could stick this here. I could stick it here. Actually, it looks kind of cute over there and here too. Maybe we'll put this up here and then we can pair it with like a little sticker. And this is what happens when you cut boxes, you guys, is you can like, you can continue to use those pieces. Like look how cute this is. And then like daylight savings. And then my husband actually has something going on this day too. So I could write that in there too. And then look, I've now used all the pieces of that box. So just don't constrict yourself to certain things all the time because you can make it work. I'm going to decorate the rest of this little box here and then I'll be right back. All right, so I went in into like a little box over here and I finished in here. So far, I think this is looking really, really cute. I think I'm gonna take this like, does this match this color? Yeah. And I'm gonna put this right here just to kind of like balance that. I do have to figure out what I have going on for the rest of this week. Clearly, I'm on vacation here. And there, my husband has something to do on Sunday and Skylar soccer is finally done. So I don't have to worry about any more games or practices. So that's one less thing off my plate. I know that there are a couple of things going on for the school. And then obviously we have this day and then we have something on the 26th. So I do need to get a box for this. I'm wondering if the Minnie Mouse would work there. No, cause she's, She's wearing her winter stuff. Um, I wonder if I have another one in here that could go. All right, it might be time to bring in some black boxes. I have like just plain black, but I don't know if that's like a big enough size. All right, I think I'm gonna grab some black boxes. I could do gold too if I wanted to, which still could be a possibility, but I'm thinking we'll put this one here because we have something on the 26th. All right, I need my phone for a minute, you guys, so hold that thought. <laughs> Okay, so I thought I had a few more things going on, but it turns out I don't. I don't have any doctor's appointments. Um, there's no concerts for the kids. The only other thing I can do is put a black sticker box here because that starts the, the kids' um, Thanksgiving break. I sometimes label Black Friday, but I don't know if I want to do that this time. So we can put this here to mark the kids' uh, Thanksgiving recess. 
So that brings in a black box over there. I might do a marker thing for Black Friday and a marker thing for places to go. I know I'm going to re be repeating the Disney thing, but it's okay. I think at this point I need to go and write some things in. So I'm going to speed you guys up for that and then I'll probably come back and we'll do some more decorating and then we'll be done. Okay, before I keep going, I remembered something else. So I think I'm going to bring a little bit of gold in. And you guys know I have to balance. So I'm going to put this sticker here. And then we can put this one maybe at the start of the trip. I think this would be cute just like that. Okay, let's keep going. All right, you guys, so I went in and wrote some stuff in. Oop, I almost forgot a couple of things. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do with myself? So Sunday, my husband's seeing his mom, so. And then um, over here is Halloween. Okay, so now that that's done, I can now go in and just finish doing my fun decorations. I think I'm gonna highlight the numbers this month and then we're pretty much gonna be done. I think I might add a couple, bit, a couple more Mickeys but other than that, I think we're good. All right, you guys, the month of November is finally done and it came out so cute. I know it looks a little busy, but I'm actually really loving this. So it's very Disney oriented. Now I know that our where Disney trip is Christmas and a little part of me wanted to go Christmas on this one, but November technically is still fall and it is Thanksgiving. And I do love Thanksgiving with all of the colors and the food 
and food and wine still takes place in the Thanksgiving time frame. So I didn't want to go too crazy. Plus, December is always my Christmas monthly spread. So I didn't want to have two Christmas monthly spreads in a row. That's why I brought in a lot of Disney just to really showcase that that's what we're doing. And I really love these stickers, but it talks about being grateful. It talks about being grateful and kind. And I just think it worked out really, really well. The only thing I didn't go in and do is my to-dos for this month, but I can go back and do those after. I wrote in my people to see, which is a lot of family and some friends. And for my personal focus is Disney and family. And then my work focus is getting the Disney vlogs and videos out for you guys this month. And... Uh, places to go obviously Walt Disney World and I brought it in over here as well I almost thought about writing in over here daylight savings time just to carry the marker over I still might like over and up if you know what I mean but other than that I love it I think it came out really really cute it's probably one of my favorite spreads then again October came out really cute too I'll um I'll peep that really quick for you guys so you can see it because it was so cute this was my October spread. I love, I love how this one came out. So much fun. So yeah, another great spread. I think that the washi matched perfectly with the stickers and I just really like this one. It's making me happy. It's making me really excited for the trip. I can't believe we're 10 days out. Are you guys ready for some Disney themed videos? Because they're coming. <laughs> If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, thank you so much for checking out the video. I'm so happy that you watched it. If you want to join my planning fam, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be my what's in my parks bag video. So I'm really excited. That's about it. All right, guys, happy planning and stay magical. Bye.